Is this America, the land of the free and the home of the brave, where we have to speak with our telephones off of the hook because our lives be threatened daily because we want to live as decent human beings in America? The former sharecropper who became a key voice in voting rights. Meet Fannie Lou Hamer. Born in Montgomery County, Mississippi in 1917, Fannie Lou quit school at 12 to work full time in the fields. She eventually married and settled down on the same plantation she'd been raised on. Everything changed when she went to a civil rights meeting organized by her church. I'd never heard until 1962 that uh, black people could register and vote. So at 45, Fannie Lou tried to do just that. I went down the 31st of August to try to register. And after I had gotten back home, Mr. Marlowe told me that I would have to go down and withdraw my registration or leave because they wasn't ready for that in Mississippi. She made her choice. As soon as I was fired from that plantation, I started right away then working on voter registration. In June of 1963, she was arrested in Mississippi when the group she was with was refused service at a cafe. Once she was in jail, a state highway patrolman instructed two inmates to beat her. We used the curse word. And he said, we're going to make you wish you was dead. She was left with permanent eye and kidney damage, but her resolve never wavered. By 1964, she had helped register 64,000 black Americans. Fannie went on to join forces with Martin Luther King Jr. and even spoke at the 1968 Democratic Convention. The next year, Fannie Lou founded the Freedom Farm Cooperative to support black farm workers in Mississippi. For the next eight years, that would be her focus until she lost her battle with breast cancer in 1977. But Fannie Lou Hamer will be forever known as a woman who never stopped fighting for her rights and the rights of so many of her fellow black Americans. Your freedom is shackling pain to mine. And until I am free, you are not free either.